no matter whether you are a react learner or a developer you must have come across the term virtual dom if you are wondering about why react uses virtual dom and how it is so faster than real dom then this video is for you hello everyone welcome back to my channel i am nisha singla and in this video we are going to talk about a very important concept of react and that is virtual dom so don't skip this video and watch the complete tutorial till the end to understand it completely and yes if you are visiting my channel for the first time then don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any future update from my channel if you are working with javascript then you must know about dom and its functionality and let's do a very quick recap so that we all are on the same page so as we know that dom stands for document object model and it is the structural representation of all the nodes in the html document a web page is a document that can either be displayed in the browser window or as an html source the dom represents the ui of your application and dom manipulation and updation is required to dynamically change the content of the web page every time there is a change in the state of your application ui the dom needs to be updated to reflect the changes but do you know why dom manipulation is slow the dom represents the web page often called document with a logical tree and each branch of the tree ends in a node and each node contains object programmers can modify the content of the document by using a scripting language like javascript and the changes and the updates to the dom are fast because of its tree like structure but after changes the updated element and its children have to be re-rendered to update the application ui so the re-rendering of a ui which makes the dom slow all the ui components you have need to be rendered for every dom update so real dom would render the entire list and not only those items that receive the update so because of this problem we have a concept of virtual dom virtual dom as the name suggests is the virtual representation of the real dom and is local to react every time the state of the application changes react does those changes in the virtual dom first and then sync the real dom accordingly a virtual dom object has the same property as a real dom object but it doesn't have the power to directly reflect the changes on the screen think of a virtual dom as a blueprint of a machine changes made to the blueprint doesn't reflect on the machine itself but the question still remains same how it is faster than real dom suppose we have this dom with this structure now react will create two virtual copies of this dom now whenever there is any state change in react it never talks to the real dom directly it will update those changes in virtual dom suppose this node is changed so when there is a update in the virtual dom react compares the virtual dom with the snapshot of the virtual dom take right before the update of this virtual dom with the help of this comparison react figure out which component in the ui needs to be updated and this process is called diffing and the algorithm that is used for diffing process is called diffing algorithm so once react knows which component or which node has been updated then it replaces the original dom nodes with the updated dom node and react updates only the changed objects in the real dom which makes the performance far better as compared to the manipulation the real dom directly so now we can say the virtual dom is a programming concept where virtual representation of a ui is kept in memory and sync with the real dom by a library such as react dom and this process is called reconciliation so now we can say like frequent dom manipulation are very expensive so virtual dom is a virtual representation of the dom in memory and virtual dom is sync with the real dom with react dom library and this process is called reconciliation and react compares the virtual dom and the reupdated virtual dom and only marks the subtree of the component that are updated and this process is called diffing so the algorithm behind diffing is called diffing algorithm and react use keys to avoid unnecessary re-rendering we will talk about keys in the upcoming session in detail but yes this is one of the important point to remember 
that React use a concept of keys to avoid unnecessary re-rendering. So now on a very high level, we understood like how virtual DOM works and why React is so fast because it works on the concept of virtual DOM. Let's take a very quick example where I can show you uh, how DOM is updating in the browser and then the same thing I will do with React, how it will work. As of now, I didn't explain any React concept, so don't focus on the code. I just wanted to show you the behavior of DOM and virtual DOM. The syntax and the code will make sense in the upcoming session. So here, just focus on the concept instead of the syntax and the code. Let's move to the editor. As of now, I have simple index.html file. And there in the body, I have just printed some text which you can see on the browser. And I have just entered the script tag so that I can link this index.js file. And you can see it is running on a server. So if you don't know how to run this file on a server, Without setting any additional thing, all you have to do just you need to install one extension that is called live server. So once you have installed this live server, it will launch a development server for you. So let me first stop this one. So once you have installed this live server extension, in that case, you can start your any project on a local development server. So here you can see that you are getting an option of go live at the bottom. You can click on this one or you can right click and here you will see open with live server. So as soon as I click on that, it will launch a local server for me and serve this index.html file here. When you go to the console, just make sure that your JavaScript file is also linked properly. You can just test it like this. So you can see automatically it refresh the changes as well. So it means my index.js is also linked properly. Although this demo is not important, but I wanted to show you so that you can clearly see the difference how actual DOM updates and when I do the same thing with virtual DOM, how it will behave so that this concept will make more sense to you. So now here what I need to do, I will simply create two containers. Inside one container, I will render my JavaScript code and I'll give it an ID of container one. And I will also create a second container with the ID of container two. Here I will render my React code. So for now, just focus on this container one, move to the index.js file and here I will write a very simple code. So for an example, I'm creating one element here and I will use backtick syntax of ex6 so that I can write my HTML easily here. So here I will create a simple HTML tag div. In this call, nothing fancy, it's a very simple HTML. So here I'm simply putting one heading JavaScript. And here I will create one input type text. So here I'm just simply creating a simple HTML tags or elements so that I can render something on my browser through JavaScript. So as of now, there will nothing on the UI because I didn't bind it. So what I can do so that I can display this HTML inside this container one. First, I need to get a reference of that document dot get element by ID. And with these, these are the DOM methods, right? Through which you can manipulate your DOM. Here I will mention which ID I want to access. And I told you, I want to access this container one ID. And in this, I want to put my inner HTML with whatever I have in the element one. Okay, it's very straightforward. So when you see here, you can see we have one H H1 heading and one input type text. I can type something here, right? Now, second thing what I want, I want to render some current time maybe on the browser. So for that, I can add one more element here. Let's take an example of P tag. And here I will use date and time to render the time on the browser. So this date is a function, right? So I need to use this dollar sign inside this backtick syntax so that I can call some function. And here I can say new date. And I want to access only the local timestamp, not uh, the date. So I can say local time string. So here you can see it is showing me current time. It will not update because it will only run once. So if you want that it should update after every certain interval, 
so what i can do i need to wrap my this code into a function so that i can call set interval so what you can do for that i can create one function and maybe say set timer and you can wrap your complete statement inside this function and here you just need to use set interval this is also a simple javascript function set interval will take two argument the first one is the function which you want to run and after how much interval so now after every 100 millisecond you will notice it is updating the time this is straight right nothing very difficult here it's very simple javascript code now the same thing i want to do with the help of react then i will show you the comparison so i hope this code is clear right so now let's do the same thing with react and again i'm repeating the same thing that you don't need to focus on the syntax because that's what i'm going to explain later the idea of this code is just to show you the difference between virtual dom and real dom so the way i have element 1 now i'm going to create element 2 which will have certain code which i going which i am going to render through react and that element will be rendered in this container 2 okay so for that i will create the same way element 2 now if you want to create any react element we have to use certain classes so i will use this react dot create element method so here i will create one div div will not have any props so create element takes three argument the first one is a element name second one any property that this div will contain and third one is the children so i am creating one div which doesn't have any prop as of now prop means attributes is just a simple div and uh, this div will further have one more element as a h1 so i will say react dot create element i will create one h1 it will also not have any prop so null and further it has children as a inner html so i can say after this h1 i will create one more element that is again a div which doesn't have any child element and it further has react dot create element and this one and this time i want to have one input type the way i have input here i will also create one input here so input but this time this element has prop i have to create type text as a prop right so here i can pass a object and say it will have props of type text and at the end we will have react dot create element and at the end the way i have this p element and this date and time similarly you can also create one more element p which has null and it has further child of date so i can say new date and same way i can just extract the current time and it is showing me some warning here because i missed this comma um, so just to give a very basic understanding we have used this uh, react dot create element which basically used to uh, create any react component or react element fine uh, i will explain in detail about this in the upcoming video but just for now i have just used react to create a similar structure okay now the next part is our element is ready but i have to render it the way i have rendered my uh, element 1 inside container 1 similarly i have to render my element 2 inside container 2 element here inside this div so for that i will not say document dot get element by id if you want to render anything you have to use react methods right and for that we have react dom dot render so here i need to say react dom dot render and similarly what you want to render i want to render element 2 and where you want to render i want to render inside my that container which has a id of container 2 so when you go to the browser you can say react is not defined and of course because i am using this react class but i don't have it defined anywhere so to run this code i need at least two library for now the one is a react library so that i can write this syntax and the second one is the react dom so that i can use this statement here so for that just go to this react official site and go to the docs and go to the cdn links and here you can see we have two library the one is a react and the second one is a react dom so you just need to copy these two scripts and move to the index.html and put it just before your script tag 
and I hope now you understood why these two statements are required because we have used some react classes and react dom classes which by default will not work we have to import its dependent libraries so now move to your browser and check we are getting some reference error like this uh, text is not defined so let's find out where is this this text is a key value right so you have to put it in a quotes now check again uh, we can scroll a little bit down. So here you can see we are getting exact same output. But this one is a simple JavaScript and the bottom one we have used with the help of React. So when I say React, it means it will use virtual DOM. And when I say simple JavaScript, it is a real DOM. And we know that you can see the DOM elements here, elements. These all are the elements that we have in, on this page. So these are the same tree like representation of my DOM element. So you just need to focus one difference here. When I'm trying to type something here, you can say it is refreshing. But when you type something here, you can see it is still here. It is not refreshing. Fine. And, and it is happening because of virtual DOM. Now let's understand it again. Go to the elements. And we have container 1 and we have container 2, right? And we know in the container 1, we have used simple JavaScript, which will use real DOM to update the changes. And in the container 2, we have used React, which use virtual DOM to update the real DOM. And it will never directly update the real DOM, right? So when you go to the container 1 and just see, can you see the difference? As soon as my time is updating, my complete container, my complete DOM is getting refreshed. You can see that. And that's because when I'm typing here also, it is not holding the value because it is refreshing every time when my set interval will run. But when you go to the container 2, you can see it is not even blinking. It means container 2 is using virtual DOM. So it will only update that node which is updating without updating the other nodes which is not changed so this is how as of now you can see virtual dom is only updating those nodes which are changed instead of repainting or uh, refreshing the complete dom so it's a very small example but once you have a very big application that definitely make a difference it makes your application more faster because unnecessary DOM rendering is not happening when you use virtual DOM. So I hope now you got a very high level understanding like why React is so fast and how virtual DOM is different from real DOM and what is dipping algorithm, what is reconciliation and how it is working. So I hope it will make sense to you. So this is all about today. In the upcoming videos, we are going to discuss about its syntax and the setup part. But this video is very important so that you know why React is so fast. So this difference need to be clear. I hope today's session is clear. Let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and keep learning.